So today we play a mid-table Borussia Mönchengladbach, got a double header in the Europa League. Can we get ourselves into the quarterfinals? Hello and welcome to another episode of Going Pro with me, D-Boy Plays. As you can see, we've got some games to play against Borussia Mönchengladbach. We're in the round of 16 Europa League. It'd be really, really nice to keep progression going in that because if you look here, and if we take a little closer look here, the league's not gone so great since we last saw each other. Um, we're only five points off those European spots. Fiorentina do have two games in hand though on us, so there's a chance they can catch up with us. And if I show you our form since we last met, that was obviously the Copenhagen game. We got two of everything. We've got two of everything. Noah Jean Home is the only person who's scoring goals for this as well. Apart from in this game, obviously, we got a second goal from uh, Salcedo there. But he's pretty much our only person scoring goals. So we obviously need him, you know, fit. And clearly the only one in our team that actually tries. But we had a really disappointing loss to, against Bologna. A boring 1-0 win. Back to the 1-0s against Palermo. Draw with Napoli was pretty good. 2-0 against Monza. I'll take it. 2 all against Cremonese. That one hurt because they were, and I believe at the time, 19th. The 19th place curse still exists. Uh, and then a 3-0 loss to AC Milan. I figured that was going to happen. They're absolutely smashing things, as always. In fact, yeah, they've won it the last two years in a row. So I imagine they're going for their third. Uh, but we do have a couple of games today. Like I say, we've got Borussia Mönchengladbach, our Europa League round of 16 legs. There's a Lazio game in the middle. I'm just going to gloss over that, get through that as quick as I can so we can watch these two games. Can we get to the quarterfinals? Fingers crossed. So here we go. Looking at a couple of the other fixtures that are going on. Lazio v Marseille. Let's make some predictions. Uh, I'm going to go Lazio. Italian boys. Surely they'll do things. They'll do things well. Leipzig versus Young Boys, probably Leipzig. West Ham, Monaco, considering how we absolutely drilled West Ham, I'm going to say Monaco. Copenhagen, Sevilla, you can't you can't bet against the uh, the competitions. Uh, one of the one of the best teams in the competition who've won it so many times. Sevilla, Feyenoord, Rangers, I'm going Rangers. Mainz, Arsenal, got to go Arsenal. Uh, Olympiakos, Basel, uh, let's go Basel. Why not? Um, but yeah, we'll see how things go with that. See if I get any of those predictions right. Let me know in the comments below. Um, and. Surprise, it's a bloody prize. There's not a lot of changes to the team since the last time we saw each other. Uh, good news, nobody got sold. Rizzo didn't leave, Nuosu didn't leave, Home didn't leave. Everyone stuck around, which is wonderful to see, but can't help but think a few of them actually do want to leave um, still. But there we go. Let's get into this game. We've got Glad back. I'm just excited to get into some football. There's a chance that we might make it into the quarterfinals of the Europa League. Imagine imagine if we won Europa League. First ever time of asking. That'd be amazing. Cut to in about 15 minutes time when we're getting beaten 3-0 by Borussia Mönchengladbach. Yeah. Let's dive in though. Let's have some fun. Do our best. Do I recognise any names? Hoffman? Neuhaus? Or Neuhaus? Fruchtel? Fruchtel, was he uh, Christian Fruchtel, I think? Was that, what you call them? Bayern. What do you call them, Bayern? Yeah, Bayern Munich. Have you heard of them? Yeah. One. Wow. First legs of their place. They haven't sold out their corners. Interesting. It's not that interesting. Here we go. Come on, boys. Let's set off things well. Let's have a good start. If we can, if we can get an away win to start with, that'd be very impressive. Definitely makes the second leg a lot easier. If we can, yeah, get a win there. And considering how things ended in the the league phase, maybe we overachieved in the league. <clears throat> maybe we were. Maybe we got lucky with the, with some of our fixtures. But you know, some of the teams we played, like I said when it was happening, I expected us to lose against them. And we didn't. So either we're going to have a rubbish time now, we're going to get absolutely thumped, or we're going to continue that wonderful form. Neuhaus plays in on Yadika. Batera heads it to Rizzo, though. Problem solved. Chances now to create something for the Provocelli boys. Rolled out to Gatti. Gatti to Kreshki. Butera and Palumbo linking up. Back with Rizzo now. 
Slowly moving the ball up the pitch. Not too bad. Delamorte into Henry. He plays it through the middle. Home heads it in the path of Salcedo. Good save from the keeper. <sighs> Close. Close. Very nervy, that one. Palumbo. Uh, straight to the front post, and Voigt is there. And clears. Okay. I mean, as far as first halves go, it looks like they're dominating in the possession, or at least, you know, better than us. But overall, everything else looks pretty similar. Um, Hack plays it forward. Neuhaus, great ball through for Hoffman. No foul. Great ball through, and Plea scores at the back post. I think I'm saying that name right, obviously. We know I'm rubbish at the names thing. Um, yeah, very frustrating. Just before the break as well. Something I have noticed since our last episode, and maybe even slightly before that, but our defence is terrible. I, and I think no amount of upgrading is going to fix that. Every single... I th I've, I've, got a, I've got a hot take, a theory on Football Manager, especially this year. Defence is just bad. Always bad. Uh, and either I'm just rubbish at signing defenders, which is you know incredibly possible because I am rubbish, um, or <laughs> there's just like something coded in where the players just play badly. It's really infuriating. Uh, Delamorte is asking to come off. I think we will do that. And we will bring on Odin. He's only got slightly better fitness. Let's see if Odin can help us win. Or we'll get a goal back at least. Took a bit of encouragement at them. Uh, Salcedo's not having the best game, so I might take him off in a moment. Nets crosses it in, but it goes straight to the hands of Rizzo. What's he going to do? What is he going to do? Rolls it out to Gatti. Gatti to Kreshki. Butera over to Ramos Mingo. Moving it around. Very good control of possession. Salcedo plays into home. Wide with Ryerson. Can he find a teammate? He's going the whole way on his own. I literally just said that he was our best player and had scored so many goals in our last few games. And now he's injured. What is wrong with you? It looked like it was a, it's a foot injury. The way he stopped running, it looked like a hammy, but fine. Not fine. Uh, let's get Palumbo forward instead of Salcedo, we'll take you off for Busquets, and last change, I think we will take off Butera, because he looks like he's going to get himself a book in, we'll bring on Cometio. Oh dear, Noah Jean Home has picked up a knock, we've got a corner though, can we capitalise on this, Palumbo plays it in, can he find Gatti, no he can't, and that is that highlight done. Last little bit of encouragement. Maybe we'll get somewhere with that. I think it's going to happen. See, we're turning things around up here. We're expected a goal. Yet I don't think we're going to get one. And that, we almost expected two goals based on how we've played. Mm. Well, 1-0 down at their place. Which isn't the worst thing, really. If you think about it, losing 1-0 away isn't terrible. There's obviously, there's every chance that we can pull it back. Four to five weeks with no Noah. Cool. Well, good job we signed uh, Fabio Silva. I'm going to fast forward, get this Lazio game done, obviously speak to you about it. Uh, once we come back, but let's get into that second leg against Mönchengladbach. Okay, here we go into our second leg. We're at home for this one. In case you're wondering, the game against Lazio, pretty awesome scoreline, nil-nil. Nothing happened, apart from Palumbo's injured now. We've got no home, we've got no Palumbo. Our Norwegian players are getting taken out left, right and centre. And if Ryerson and home go, I'm walking. Because there's some that's some sort of hate happening with that. Uh, other than that, though, no massive changes. Did I get those? Oh, check the predictions. But I'm pretty confident those four were teams that I said would go through. I should have predicted the worst teams out of the options. Never mind, though. We're going into the game against Gladbach. Second leg. We lost 1-0 in the first leg. Can we bring it back? 
No massive changes, surprise, surprise. Cometio's come in at the back. Diambo's filling in for an injured Palumbo. Busquets is getting a game, but it's it's all much of the same. You're used to the team now, guys. You know what's going on with these boys. <clears throat> Can we get a win in the second leg? They've not really made a lot of changes either. And before we dive in, come on, I need you boys to make the difference. It would be awesome to keep this going and keep... And so, you know, stay in one of the competitions because in my head, kind of the league's gone, right? We're seventh at the moment, which isn't terrible because it does mean that there's a chance of us getting Conference League. Uh, but we're under, you know, we're underperforming against against certain teams. League form's just sort of falling apart. This seems to be the only place that we can actually win stuff. Maybe we need to uh, focus on this one and see if we can get... See if we can walk away with a trophy, you know. I'm saying all of this. Yeah, this can this game can go either way though. I mean, we need to obviously we need to win at least 2-0 and not let them in. Will we be able to? I have no idea. Strong start, nothing happening. Alright, we've got a throw. Henry throws it into the middle to Diambo. He plays it back to Cometio, Gatti. Down to Ryerson. Plays it through the middle. Fabio Silva sets up Salcedo. Ooh, sends it wide. Not a bad start. Not a bad start. Why are we all... Are we anxious? We're all anxious. Let's check a bit of encouragement. It was a good start. I'll, I'll, take, I'll take that. That's, that's, that's opportunities. We've got to... We've got to try and keep building on that. Holm. Plays it down the line. Fa finds Fabio Silva. He gets tackled by Hack, though. He plays it into Plier. Plier in the middle, almost picked up by Salcedo, but now it's wide with Hoffman. Back to Scali. And Gladbach moving around. Good interception from Diambo. Plays it to home. Chances here. <sighs> Poor effort from home. Under a lot of pressure, though, and Fructal gathers easily. Chuck another little bit of encouragement just before half time. Really don't want another nil nil. Go out there and give these fans their money's worth. I believe in all of you. Come on. We've got to dig deep. Get out there and do our best, yeah? Come on, boys. This is getting very frustrating, though. Fructal with a goal kick. Launches it forward. Headed by Uri. Wide. Hoffman picks it up. Good tackle from Henry. Mingo to Cometio. Gatti to Diambo now. Forward with Salcedo. Can he create anything? Plays it wide to Henry. He looks like he's trying to find someone to make a run. Plays it in the middle to Salcedo. Headed. Hits the crossbar. Cleared only as far as Henry. Can he find a teammate on his second cross? Back to Busquets. Cleared by New Newhouse. Ah, <sighs> shame. Home looks exhausted, apparently. We will make a change here. Home is going to come off for Maldini. Hmm. I'm going to take off Gatti for Batera as well. See if he can help us out of the back. Really don't need any other injuries, so that is uh, that is a, a major cause for concern. Diambo on the free kick, plays it forward, finds Cometio. Oh, just wide. Lena with the throw now. Ngomu plays it in the middle, Batera intercepts. Well done from Salcedo as well. All the way back to Rizzo. Come on, boys. We've got to create something. Busquets. Ramos Mingo. Henry. Down the line to Maldini. Good ball. Plays it back in the middle. Nobody there, though. And Ita Itakura into Hack. Zimmerman now. Newhouse. Hoffman. Plier. Intercepted again by Maldini. Played through the middle. Can Fabio Silva capitalise? the woodwork again good lord my god this is this game's gonna get really exhausting isn't it i'm gonna bring on kreshki for diambo because he looks like he's gonna he's getting very frustrated we're gonna be on roaslev for ryerson i do have one more sub i may hang on to that one for a moment just because if there's a chance of an injury or anything like that or if we go to you know, any extra time or something like that. I wouldn't mind being able to make two changes. Roeslev down the line to Fabio Silva. Plays it to Salcedo. Back into Fabio. In the middle to Maldini. Henry! Come on! Equaliser in the 69th minute. Rico Henry scores for Provocelli. Levels things out. 
Can we get a second goal here? That was an absolute rocket from Rico Henry there. Great ball over. Oh, what a finish. Clinical. Danny Rose-esque. I don't know about Danny Rose-esque. What am I talking about? Uh, we definitely need to, I definitely need to make a change. Look at some of these lads. They are dying out there. Maldini on the corner. Plays it in. Cleared. Back in the box. Finds Cometio. Makes some space. Cuts it back to Kreshki. Back into Cometio. Maldini again. Can't quite find a gap. Butera plays it back to Roeslev. Wide with Butera. Cometio again. Launches it wide to Rico Henry. Crosses it in. Fabio Silva heads it over the goal. Henry is in charge of this game at the moment. Kreshki plays it in. Can't find Ramos Mingo. Zimmerman clears. Hoffman plays it to no one. Busquets back into Kreshki. He can't find anyone with his cross. Salcedo now. Roas left to Butera. Trying to force a gap, force an error. Roeslev crosses it in. It's not good enough effort, lads. Not a good enough effort. It's very annoying as well because I, if it does go to penalties, not that I want it to, but if it does, I kind of want uh, Fabio Silva on the pitch. Kyle George plays it in the middle. Bore scores for Munching Gladbach. And that gives them the lead. All right, we have to make a change here. God, everyone is exhausted out there. I'm exhausted. Delamorte, you're coming on for Salcedo. It's got to be done. He's one of our own. He knows how important this is to the fans and the club. Will encouragement work on them? It, kind of. We've dominated this game. We have absolutely dominated this game and we've bottled it. We lose to Munchen Gladbach. And we are now out of the Europa League. Awesome. All the other teams that I predicted have gone through though, so that's that's a win in some ways, if you think about it. Well, there we go. That ends the European dream. And I guess now I've got to kind of think of somewhere where to pick this back up now because the plan, obviously, was to show you quarterfinals. Um, that's where we'll leave things for today. Yeah, we'll come back for the last two games, Inter and Empoli. You can see how the league's going. There's no... Unless, unless any actual drama happens between now and the end of the season, there's 10 games left. Well, yeah. I can't believe we've absolutely bottled that. Thank you very much for watching, though. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have, please make sure you give it a like. And if you want to continue this journey we're having with Provocelli, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I will see you at the end of the season. Look after yourselves. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao, Bella. I'm so annoyed.